Hey guys, this is TechRacer and today in this video I am going to quickly demonstrate how I set up my internet connection. Now I have made an unboxing video of this TP-Link Archer C6 and in that video I have I did show how to set up an internet connection that was completely on software basis like dynamic IP and things like that. But many of you guys were having concern regarding from where this ethernet cable is coming from. I did demonstrate it, uh, it came from my like fiber modem but in today's video I am going to show you exactly how the entire connection is set up as you can see uh, and the connection is working fine so this cable is directly going to my place where the ONT is set up so I'll just now quickly switch this video to that video so you can have uh, a look uh, where I demonstrated how it is actually working so, so guys this is how my actual connection is so this is the ONT or ONU which is the fiber as you can see this is the fiber incoming connection which is coming from that distribution box on, uh, set up on my terrace so this is basically this is the an ONT slash ONU so it's G pawn and E pawn uh, with Wi-Fi router uh, inbuilt into it and basically I have used this one or they have provided me this one because I'm using this BSNL connection and this one has this uh, dedicated phone line connection for like uh, using it uh, the phone number as well so that's why they have provided me this one but the main drawback of this thing is that it's only a single band and 2.4 gigahertz and the speeds are not that great and even the range is not that great so i have like used this one as my primary router and i'm using this only for like converting this uh, like fiber connection into an internet and connecting it to the isp that's it so as you can see it is turned on and as you can see there the lights are pretty dim so that's why uh, you won't be able to see it uh, and the back side we have two basically ethernet ports so this one is lan1 lan2 lan2 supports gigabit ethernet and lan1 supports standard 100 mbps so you can share the internet uh, from these two ports so yeah so what i am doing basically over here is that i am using this router uh, as an extender and i have just turned on the, of the wi-fi from this one as you can see it does support the wi-fi but i have turned it off because it's of no use or it's not up to that uh, good so I have just used the LAN2 port of this uh, like ONT and connected it to the WAN port of this router right over here. So I have already initialized the router and it should like pop up over here. Mm, it should turn green. And as you can see LAN2 is blinking and it has turned green so it means that the internet connection is established over here as well. So what I am doing like I am getting internet onto this uh, ONT and it's getting transferred onto this router and this router is creating a Wi-Fi network and as well as the gigabit switch as well. So this is how the entire internet connection is set up and uh, what actually happening at uh, this uh, the router uh, or the ONT set up into some different room so that's why I have already set up. Uh, a wire in my house so this wire is going to uh, to my uh, like primary setup so i have just connected this to this lan2 port and this uh, the other end of this cable is connected to this uh, at my setup place so that's how the entire internet connection is working so yeah guys uh, i hope this solves the confusion of most of the guys out there because many of you are having like concerns from where this uh, lan cable is coming to this particular router so this is how it goes and this is how the entire inter internet connection is set up at my place and same uh, will be the case with you and as I'm connecting to the internet from this device that's why it's uh, showing dynamic IP over here but if you have triple PoE connection you can also set up that uh, using this router so no issues over there so there are different types of incoming connections or internet connection setups on this router as well so yeah this is how my connection is so I hope it helps uh, you all okay so welcome back guys so i hope this demonstration video is helpful to you in solving your confusions and concerns so yeah if you still have any queries do let me know in the comment section of this video so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so yeah thank you guys thanks for watching